it seems like every other day these luxury brands are out here dropping new bag styles, okay? And this is the new one, and this is the one we're focusing on, and blah, blah, blah. And inevitably, we're not gonna love them all, okay? Not everything is for everybody. And that is why today I am sitting down <laughs> and telling you about the designer bags in 2023 that um, I would not buy and why. There's various number of reasons for these that we will go through. Um, but what comes with these videos is I have to give a disclaimer. If you have these bags, you go and you rock them. Okay, this is my beef with the bag specifically, not with you. All right, I have faith that you're going to be out here killing it with it. Okay, it's just not for me. All right. <laughs> Let's kick it off with one that has not released yet, but will in the next kind of few weeks or so, or about a month. This is the Star Bag from their cruise collection that's sort of like based around sort of like California, 80s Hollywood vibes, all right? It is novelty to the next level. It is a star-shaped bag, all right? Now, this comes in a few sort of variations. As far as I'm aware, these are the variations that uh, exist or will exist. So you've got two metallic ones, you've got a silver metallic, gold metallic, black leather, black satin, and then these three at the bottom are the ones that I really don't like. <laughs> I really don't like the contrasting like trim and the black Chanel on the front of the start. First of all, that white one looks like, I don't know, you got it from the makeup shop and it was a free gift with purchase. I don't like the contrast on it. I think it, I think it looks a bit cheap. And the thing is, is that these bags are going to be the absolute opposite of that, okay? And look, if this is your style, if you are Barbie realness, if you are, I love novelty bags, and this is very much my vibe, then you go out there and rock it. But the top row for me is okay. I still would not. I still... This, this sort of level of novelty isn't really kind of my vibe, but on top of that, the logistics of getting into that is going to throw me. Okay, because you are, you're going to have to, from what I can see, see the zip starts on the end. So you, so you zip at the end. And then, and then you've got to weasel your way in. And then, oh, where are my keys? Is it in the bottom left point or the bottom right? This is just, and this is, I haven't even looked at it. And I'm already annoyed. <laughs> So I don't think this is a good purchase for me. Not really a fan. When Chanel does novelty, I like it when they do like those crazy minaudiers that look just like miniature replicas of the, the large thing, you know? It's not me. The colours, are they all crossbody? I feel like they would be better if they were a bit more of like a top handle evening bag because then it's a bit like it, it implies a bit more playful rather than just a crossbody. It's just like, yeah, it's just a star shaped crossbody. I don't know if anything in my head is coming across the way I wish it to, but I'm just, fingers crossed we're on the same wavelength. Guys, if you are new here, my name is Cassie and I'm a self-diagnosed luxury addict. I put out videos on Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays, so if you like luxury fashion, then you're probably going to love it here, so head down there, subscribe to the bell, become a member of our luxury addicted family. When are we going to rehab? <laughs> Never. I also have a podcast, check it out. Okay, the Loewe Squeeze. I saw this bag and one word came to mind. It's not even like anatomically accurate, but I just thought bladder bag. I don't know why. And this is coming from somebody who has a Dior saddlebag and people think that your saddlebag looks like a liver or something. Like I never made that connection, but I made the bladder to the squeeze. Not everybody's mind works the same. I am not a fan of this. It's never a style that I would go for. I don't like the sort of shape of it paired with the amount of ruching on the inside and then the thickness of that pad that goes on the shoulder. Whilst I do appreciate the fact that there is a leather pad there because you've got a chain and as we know the chains can dig in wearing you down to the sodding bone over a chain on a bag. So I appreciate that. I don't like how thick it is. There's just like elements of this that I'm just like, oh, I'm not a fan of that. And I also do think there's, that it looks like there's a lot happening with it. So you have the shape, you've got the ruching, then you've got chain, then you've got the chain charm, and then you've got the padded thing. And you will see on this list, there's bags that I have a problem with that are on the complete opposite end of that spectrum, right? As in they're, they're giving nothing. So, it's a bit of an odd one for me. The row, look, I've done a deep dive on the row. I have a lot of respect and appreciation for the brand 
as a third party, as a non-participant. Um, and some of their bags, I think, are all right. You know, they're a bit too simple for me, in all honesty, for me to, for it to warrant, in my mind, handing over my card. But the one that really, this one threw me, because most of them I can look and be like, yeah, it's all right, you know, it's fine. It doesn't rub me the wrong way or anything. Whereas the banana, is it called the banana? What, what is the, the slouchy banana bag? That is what a load of nothing. Just like, I will have you know that that is currently sold out on net porte in the US. It's just, it's very dull. It's very nothing. It's, but it's almost worse than nothing because I have a reaction to it. If it was nothing and it was plain, then it's like, okay, I'm neutral. But there's something about this that I really just, I am not a fan of. The thing is, is that there is a, there is a nylon version of this bag that Uniqlo does. And I'm like, I don't have a problem with you. I truly get the Uniqlo version. Truly. And whilst, yes, I know that the material and the quality of Marimar is fantastic. Okay? Visually, zero difference between this and the Uniqlo one. I said it. I would also just like to cast our eyes over to the description on net forte that described this as feel laid back but still look polished. Interesting, interesting choice of, of that last word polished there. The next one, the Gucci horse bit, as we know, has been re-released for 2023. This is a like a, a circa 2004 Tom Ford creation for Gucci. I was never that person that was like, oh my gosh, the vintage version is better. Usually when it comes to like re-editions and things, and I have another example on this list, there's elements that make it a little bit more modern, like, okay, I, I can see what you've done here to sort of like bring it up to 2023. Um, and yes, that does exist throughout these uh, horse bits and all of that. And this is its first iteration, okay? There are more and more variations will follow, I'm sure. Oh, but the variations of the vintage ones are just so much more interesting. So you obviously have the monogram GG print, which we knew was sort of a given and would happen. But then even the leather versions, it's like, you know, it's the leather version with this sort of like quilting thing. I mean, and look, it's nice. If I got a knock on my door, right, and there was a lovely green bag from Gucci and whatever, I would say thank you so much, right? It would be on my back here and I would wear it. But for me to spend my own money, the vintage ones are just so much more interesting. And again, let's see what time will tell. Um, but that is why it's not, it's not by any means at the top of my list to purchase. Louis Vuitton. As we know, they sort of uh, streamlining their strategy around their bags. They're trying to make the Neverfull a bit more exclusive, cut down on the canvas bags, give more focus to the leather, blah, blah, blah. And one thing that makes this kind of obvious on their website is when you go to the bag section, they have s sort of their six bags, is it, that they highlight. And then the rest is, is like, mm, and the other bags. And those ones are clearly the ones that they're putting a bit more focus into. And their big ticket hitter here used to be the Capucine. Like that was, that was their answer to the Birkin. Well, I can't even sudden find a price of this. The Go 14, is that what we're calling it? Go, yeah, yeah, yeah. How else, how else could this be read, Cassie? I don't know, the hyphen is throwing me off a bit. It is a crossbody style bag. I do like the chain on it. It's obviously got that puffy leather texture. Um, the LV is the same LV that's used on the twist. So, you know, it's got a bit more of a sort of modern look. I don't like how puffy it is. And look, I don't have any issues with puffy bags, like, but I feel like it has to be done well. And it's like the amount of quilting and the amount of puff, like that, like the, <laughs> how do I even explain this? Like, it looks like there's a lot of puff into each and every one of those little quilts. Does that, am I making sense? If we take the Chanel 19 for example, the quilting is there, there is a level of puff, but it's, um, it's not as pronounced as the uh, the LV, the, the Go 14, whatever that thing is. So it just, again, it's a lot for the eyes and it, it, it comes in different variations. I don't like the one where it has like contrasting quilting stitching to the leather. Cause then I'm like, oh my God, like, okay, now my eyes cannot escape the level of puffed quilting happening here. I don't know why this makes me feel a bit weird, um, but there's a lot of things about me I don't understand and this is just one more to add to the pile. This is my other re-edition that I have like semi-beef with. 
Marc Jacobs had the it bag of the early 2000s with the Stam bag named after the model Jessica Stam. And this has been re-released this year. If this is the first time you're hearing of this, I don't blame you because it, it, it was crickets. Nobody has been talking about this. And maybe that's also because, as I was saying earlier, usually with re-editions they're updated, they're tweaked for, for the modern day, right? That one wasn't. It was copy and paste, from what I can tell. And it just looks a bit dated, like some Y2K vintage pieces my gosh pluck them from then and now and and it and it's still fabulous and it's still a vibe and it still very much fits in with the times right and this is all you know style specific and if the stamp is your style then you'll go forth right but this one it's no the quilting is small i feel like that's also a bit of a sign because now if you look at quilting it, it's not that small okay the quilting is small you still have that kiss lock plus the top handles that also have these like rings that connect it to the bag plus another chain again there's a lot happening here and i feel like the ball was dropped in that this could have been updated a bit for 2023 you know like pair things back make the quilting a bit bigger blah blah, blah. maybe then maybe then we might have had a bit of chatter about it because this is a decently priced bag especially compared to bag pricing in general at the moment saint laurent Le Anne marie I'm having the opposite issue with this bag to some of the other ones on this list in that this is just very, very boring. This is like a white piece of paper hanging by your side. It's just nothing. It's, it's, it's very plain. It's very dull. It looks like something that you'd sort of find in your grandmother's closet and should be left there. Like, it's just... It's not quite as boring as the Rose Banana Slouch Bag, but it almost is. Burberry, general category here. Burberry's new bags, you're not finding me spending my money. Here's the thing. Burberry's bags in general have been a bit of a uh, of an interesting one. And obviously Daniel Lee has come in, rejuvenate the brand, give us a bit of what he gave to Bottega to Burberry. So there's a big focus on the bags and the shoes. This first season of bags, don't bother truly there's like three main ones you have the rose clutch is the leather soft yes is it weird to hold also yes and on top of that like i don't think it's particularly nice to be honest with you then you've got the the rocking horse the rocking horse is a fine crossbody bag it's fine it's perfectly fine that's it um then you've got the night bag which which sort of has this sort of fold down flap and a rat tail that comes with it that rat tail is truly um it's it's if you touch it in person it's worse it's worse than what you think it feels like there is only one burberry bag actually at the moment that i think is nice and that is the what's it called the sling because it nods to that y2k era it also uh, it just plays into what it is it's not trying to be anything else it's not trying to do like a thomas burberry and a tb and all of that it just it oddly works but everything else everything else can go and finally this is a bag that like i actually don't hate it's just not for me this is the hermes picotin and this is a bag that like my mum would love it's a great errand bag she's casual she's easy you put her on the crook of your arm you throw your stuff in throughout the day you don't think too much about this bag you know she's soft she's not that structured wonderful uh that's just not really me even if you look at the sort of like quote unquote errand bags i have when i'm talking about errand bags i sort of mean like very easy to grab and go decent size you know you don't have to worry about them too much they still have a level of sort of structure i mean this is my current loving her you know and so I mean, it's not a crazily dissimilar shape to the Picotin, but I don't know. Maybe I already have my bases covered. It's not some, that's not a type of bag that I would turn to Hermes for as well. And I think that should be noted. I think that sometimes with certain brands, aside from the fact that we kind of, I think, have our money limits with them, like I'm not willing to spend X amount on a Burberry bag, I think that we also have like, Okay, I'm not willing to, you know, go for an everyday crossbody from Hermes, but I am willing to go there for an evening bag kind of thing. And that's just how I feel about the Picotin. I think the cargo one is cool. 
the rest of them like it's just yeah it's it's not for me guys let me know which bags you're not going to buy or you have dodged successfully and why i'm going to leave a link to the video over here in case you haven't already seen it have an amazing morning afternoon or evening wherever you are and in the words of my father if you've enjoyed it tell your friends if you haven't keep your mouth shut i will see you in my next video Mwah. bye guys